I remember visiting the Great Wolf Lodge in Niagara Falls as a kid and having the best time. Since then, the water park chain has grown a lot, now boasting 19 locations across North America. Today, in the spirit of fun, I'm going to rank them all. Keep watching to find out where your favorite lodge ranks in the list and if there are any surprises along the way. We'll begin our list with the C tier lodges. Before I start, don't get me wrong. Even though these lodges are ranked C tier, that doesn't mean they're not a ton of fun. It just means that in comparison to some of the other hotels in the chain, their water parks might not feature as unique of attractions, they might be smaller, or they might just have less attractions in general. Please, please, please don't think of these as bad though, because they're really not. All Great Wolf Lodges have super fun water parks. In the C tier, we have six lodges. Starting out, we have Traverse City. Well, there's nothing wrong with the Traverse City location. It just doesn't have the slides to compete with the other big boys on this list. Next up, we have Sandusky. This suffers from the same problem as Traverse City. It just doesn't look like the best water park you've been to and doesn't have the right attractions. Moving on, we end up at Kansas City. So with Kansas City, we start to see some cool slides like the Triple Twist. However, it's not enough to move this lodge up a tier. From Kansas City, we go to Charlotte. Starting here in Charlotte, we're starting to get to the upper end of the C tier. Though these resorts don't have enough to move up, they still start to boast more unique and fun attractions. After Charlotte, we have Atlanta. Atlanta has some cool slides, like the wolf tail trapdoor slide, but the look of the water park is just okay and not the best. Finally, we end off the C tier with the Grand Mound location. Same thing as Atlanta, it has some cool slides, but it just doesn't have enough to push it up anywhere farther on the list. Moving up in the world now, we get to the B tier lodges. These hotels have larger water parks, more rides, and in general just more attractions to choose from. This category also features six lodges, beginning with Williamsburg. In Williamsburg we start to see the central slide tower show up, and the look of the water park gets way better in my opinion. After Williamsburg, we move to Talking Stick. This new and shiny Great Wolf features some unique tube slides to help set it apart, but not enough to move it up any farther than B tier. After Talking Stick, we go to Manteca. So this lodge is also very new, so it was really hard to get photos of the inside. However, it does feature the first Pro Slide Flying Saucer ride to be at a Great Wolf Lodge. After this, we go to Bloomington. This was once Water Park of America, but now is a Great Wolf Lodge chain. This lodge features some really unique slides, one that I've bumped my head on, and a flow rider, which helps push it to the B tier. After Bloomington, we get to Grapevine. This is the first lodge on our list to also feature an outdoor water park, which combined with the indoor features, moves it up to the B tier. Finally on our list, we have Colorado Springs. This rounds out the B tier, featuring some cool attractions, some not so cool attractions, and generally just lots of fun stuff to see and do. Finally, at long last, we get to A tier. These are the best of the best Great Wolves. They have the unique attractions, the biggest water parks, and tons of fun stuff to do. This category is more exclusive, only featuring four lodges. The first is the OG Great Wolf Lodge in Wisconsin Dells. Featuring two water parks, and for kickstarting the entire chain, this park gets to make the A tier, even though it might not have the best or the coolest attractions. After Wisconsin Dells, we have Cincinnati. With Cincinnati, we finally get to the big leagues. We see our first water coaster and a whole heck of a lot of other attractions to make this an A tier lodge. There's just something about having all the slides overhead that makes you think, wow, now this is a water park to explore. After Cincinnati, we have Chicago. Well, the interior of Chicago leaves a lot to be desired. Its exterior and attractions keep this lodge in the A tier. Finally, Garden Grove. This is the last lodge in our A tier. It isn't that perfect, but just something about that corner slide tower screams a fun time, and it looks like it's enough to move it up into A. Remember when I said A tier was the top? <laughs> I lied. These next three resorts are the change flagships. I call them the A plus tier. These are the true best of the best, and are the lodges that everyone should try to visit if they have a chance. First on this A-plus tier is New England. 
The New England location is unique because it has two full-size water parks, each with their own water slide tower. This makes it a huge water park with a ton of attractions to explore and lots of time to be spent there. Next, my personal favorite location, Niagara Falls. This lodge features the largest water coaster in the chain and also features a really outstanding assortment of rides. Plus, the inside just looks like such a fun water park to explore, and I can confirm, it is. Finally, on our A plus tier, we have Poconos. This is the last lodge on our list of all of them. It's basically the Niagara Falls location, but with some added rides, so obviously it's one of the best. Overall, all Great Wolf Lodges are fun, and you should try to get to your nearest one. Well, there it is. Thanks for watching my list. Let me know if you disagree with me in the comments. I'm sure some people aren't gonna like the placements. Otherwise, make sure to check out a Great Wolf Lodge at some point if you haven't already. They're a great time. Thanks again for watching, and hopefully you'll be around for the next video.